You guys always see this in the background. Let's talk about what's going on here. This is my computer setup here, and it was something I built around COVID time. I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to building computers. Let's just put it that way. I bought a AMD processor with a gaming motherboard on it, um, a bunch of RAM, RAID config on the hard drives, and then SSD for another drive in there. I think that's also configured on a pair or a RAID, or I don't, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing with this stuff. I'm good with the radios. I'm not so good with this stuff. But my key thing that I really wanted to build on this was the monitor setup, okay? I really wanted to have four monitors. I'm gonna explain really why I wanted four here. So we're not nearly there yet when it comes to comes to this. So we'll, we'll zoom in on this one up here. On the bottom screen here, I have SDR trunk, and that is monitoring uh, the neighboring county's trunk radio system and is feeding a fee to my own website and also to Broadcastify. Up here, I've got two copies of ProScan running. Again, same story. They are running from a, these two unit scanners down here in the corner. They're running two live feeds also. Now, they were also at one point logging all the data and, and, and keeping track of frequencies and archiving all the audio to external drives that are over here but we've stopped doing that. It's just not something I do anymore or anything that I really care to, to look at. I'm more interested in, in watching trunk systems. Now, again, trunk SDR is running on software defined radios and I have a stack of them under the monitor over here that you can't really see. And we'll talk about software defined radios a little bit more on the channel because that is exactly where I feel that the scanner radio hobby is progressing into. Again, think of the SDS 100, the SDS 200, right? Software defined scanner is what I assume it means. And software defined radio is a great low cost entry point into a lot of things you can do with radios. And we will talk more about what you can do with a software defined radio. But again, the computer's here to start logging data, to start monitoring different types of trunk systems, uh, logging radio IDs. So we'll spend more time sitting in front of this computer on future videos going through some programming and some software and some things you can do with SDRs and scanner radios and all that other fun stuff. But until then, make sure you subscribe because we're going to bring more scanner radio content right to you.